Hi, I'm Hans Meter with the National Center for College and Career Transitions. At NC3T, we believe in a simple concept, that every young American should have a dream and a plan. To help inspire leaders who are seeking to make this change, we provide a series of keynote presentations and workshops that are built around informing and inspiring leaders with the information and tools they will need to lead local efforts. We have three topics that might be of particular interest to you. The American Jobs Agenda, Catching the Wave of College Career Pathways, and Leadership for Today and Beyond. In the American Jobs Agenda, I explain why America's job creation engine has stalled what is the innovation ecosystem, and how educators and employers can work together to jumpstart that innovation ecosystem on behalf of our students and our communities. Some people, when they use the term innovation, they're just thinking about scientific discoveries, really research and development. Olet talks about it as more of a holistic approach of taking research and development into products that consumers want and then you create jobs driven by that consumer demand. Uh, so if we don't have the people that can do the uh, manufacturing, that can do the, the sales, the marketing, uh, that can do the administrative and the finance, then these innovative technologies will just stay there. In any regional economy there are economic drivers. We've already talked about the natural gas industry. Some places, healthcare is a driver of economic activity. Some places, tourism is a driver. Some places, advanced manufacturing is. And then, economic growth creates more construction needs. It creates uh, more retail opportunities, hospitality and tourism. So really know the difference between the drivers and the support sectors. Is what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis contributing to job creation? If you think, are you, maybe you're sitting on a bus, and that bus is the bus of economic growth and job creation. Are you helping drive the bus? I want to talk about how you as a leader in some way can be part of helping drive that bus for economic development. In the presentation called Catching the Wave of College and Career Pathways, I explain more about college career pathway systems how each pathway is designed to connect career technical education and academic courses in a way that engages students in relevant learning and then also connects students to the employer community. You'll learn how these regional college career pathway systems are led by alliances of educators, employers, and civic organizations. So two examples I want to give to you of places that have really used pathways. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee is a metro district with 15 high schools and they have decided to revamp all of their high schools using pathways. They call them the academies of Nashville. Every student is involved in some sort of college prep career blended program of study. Uh, and they've been working at it for about seven or eight years. You see, and what this has had an impact on their graduation rates. If you look at this big spike in graduation rates in 2010, think back four years earlier when those freshmen were just getting into their pathways. They saw tremendous growth as the program reached fruition. And then another example of this, in California they have these uh, funded program called Partnership Academies that again blend career themed programs and then get the teachers collaborating uh, in the other subject areas. They see a, about a 10 point improvement in graduation rates of the students that are involved in pathways versus students that are not involved in pathways. And then you need a structure for engaging employers, post-secondary partners, parents, and other community assets. And really looking at all that whole mix and creating a regional plan for the purpose of creating college and career ready students. Leadership for today and beyond. Leadership in the realm of college career pathways is very demanding because you must navigate between general education, career technical education and STEM education, post-secondary education, 
and the employer community. To help you and your team develop its leadership capacity, we offer a five-part leadership framework. Developing your personal leadership core, understanding the past and legacy of career technical education, high schools, and STEM, envisioning the future of college and career pathways, leading your organization through the change process, and sustaining change through continuous improvement. Of course, we can always customize any of these presentations to meet your local interest and needs. So if you're interested in this opportunity, please contact us. Thank you.